Okay, you guys, we finally have a new set of headlights. I actually opened these up so I can do my high beam yellow, but those are just chilling. So those are gonna be going on that. Now, unfortunately, I recorded a video, right? Cause I installed Underglow on the BMW. I recorded a video and for some reason, for some strange reason, the video got deleted. Every single file got deleted. So let me show you the underglow. At least, at least I can do it. Show you the finished product. I was pretty iffy and if you can see it during the daylight, but you can see it. So uh, it came with a remote. I also have a phone app as well. Let's see, change colors, that's brightness. Cool, so you get the idea. All these cool things. So we got underglow in the car. Now, one of the final things would be headlights because those are clapped and a hood a hood we need a hood because this hood is it's all right but it's just worth let me show you this this area right here it's just shot i don't like it these grills are for a sedan got the wrong ones I had to make do it what i had so um this hood has to either be repaired or replaced and i would much rather replace it get rid of all these rock chips a little dense it's nothing big but it's not a good look so we're gonna throw on these headlights the underglow looks cool and we're also i don't know if i want to put on this tow hook i don't know if i want to do that yet or not but maybe it'll look good maybe it won't who knows let's throw these headlights on all right, the old headlights are off. Now we can go ahead and throw on these new ones. So I did a little test for just to make sure all the connectors worked and everything, and we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up. And I, I'm not sure if I wanna throw on that tow hook again in that area or not, but we gotta finish this headlight first. Okay, we have both headlights on. These are finally the correct headlights, but they did come with Halo, so I know from the jump these halos are not going to be bright and from someone that builds headlights I got pretty like pretty decent expectations so I'm going to actually wa uh, wire up this side see how it looks actually I'll do this side I'll do this side see how it looks and then I'll leave that one on if these things are not bright at all then I'm just going to like say whatever I'm not wiring these in so that's right now um, I'm going to go ahead and get that wired and then pick up the camera again so originally i was not feeling it because of how dim the halos actually are but with the hood closed the yellow high beams with the gloss black grill the glass you know everything just flows together so i think i am going to actually wire those into the fog lights that way when i turn on the daytime running lights the halos will come on and then there will be a true daytime running light so that's cool um i'm probably going to pull it into the garage because as you can see it's getting dark out so Mm, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know, you boy lazy. All right, you guys, we got the uh, headlights on, wired, halos are wired, all that's good stuff. So like I said, it turns on with the daytime running lights, and then when I turn the daytime running lights off, they turn off as well. Uh, overall, no complaints, honestly. It looks good. Like I said, the halos are kind of dim. Maybe if I turn the lights off. Okay, maybe if I turn the other lights off. But if I turn the lights off, like, it looks cool, you know what I mean? It's nothing crazy, nothing too drastic. But I think later on, later on down the line, I'm definitely going to change those out. Get them a little bit more brighter. But it is a nice, subtle, nice, subtle touch. Little. All right, next thing I want to do. Actually, I'll turn that off. Next thing I want to do is put that tow hitch back on and see if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to run without it it yo this thing looks nice again oh finally finally see slowly but surely honestly like with it it looks cool but it just throws off mm, maybe not because forgot the bmw badge is red mm, yeah i'm gonna run without it because with it it just doesn't look right at all it just looks a bit tacky all right you guys that's gonna do it for today's video kind of short kind of not but um, headlights are on. They actually look peep the peep the fogs. I mean the uh, halos. Cool. So everything's working as it should. Pop on an underglow real quick. See what we're talking about. You got a little side view. I can't believe the files got deleted, yo. I really cannot believe I deleted that. But underglow is looking spicy. 
Headlights are looking spicy. Car is finally somewhat together. Like I said, just need that hood, and then the car will literally be in great condition exactly how I want it. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video. Like I said, I'm hype, 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 hype. Just gotta get a replacement hood. That's literally the last thing. We got some LED rock lights for the Toyota 4Runner, which we are gonna be throwing on the car today. Now, if you're new to the channel, last video, I I pretty much put underglow on my BMW, but for some reason, the footage was deleted. So today I am returning with another video, another underglow video, but just time on the 4Runner. So I picked up this um, win, wait a minute, LED rock slider or LED rock lights from Amazon. It was about $60. I chose the six pods. So we're gonna do four in the corners and then I guess two underneath the grill or one underneath the grill and then one in the rear. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure how it's gonna play out, but we do have six pods and we do have four wheels. So if I gotta use four only, that's cool. I'll use four only. If I can use all six, I'll definitely use all six. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is mark out um, where I'm gonna put them. They obviously go in the wheel well, but I'll mark out where in the wheel well I'm gonna put these, clean it off, and then throw on some of the double-sided tape and then drill into the wheel wells. That way it's all nice and secure and neat. These are the pods that we have. As you can see, there's six, one, two, three, four, and then there's two missing, five, yes six right here so we have all six i'm just going to add this double-sided tape and then get started on this i'm not sure how quick of a video this is going to be it might be 10 minutes it might be 2,000 minutes i don't know but what i do know is we're going to have some underglow so i got the underglow mounted it's dark but it's all mounted the only thing left would be to mount those wires underneath of the car. So those are gonna have to be attached to the frame, but the app works very smooth actually. Yellow, let's do some, let's do some red. And then you got your red right there. If it will focus, good. So it's, it's actually like really nice. It's very bright, let me turn the light on. So I'm gonna finish, go ahead and I'm going to finish up mounting the wires underneath the frame, clean everything up, and then it will be good. All right, we have the underglow fully mounted. Everything is secured. Everything looks nice and neat. I found out that the app has a ton more options than the controller does. So right now I have it on seven color jumping. Can we hit it with a three color jumping? Maybe if we go to static purple, which is just solid purple. But yeah, there's a bunch of different colors. Purple strobe. Scion, I think, yeah. Yellow. Yeah, so there's a bunch of different modes. My personal favorite is the seven color jumping because it looks almost like the underglow on the BMW. Yeah, this is, this is good. I'm glad I got this. This is really good. Wait, why is it on the blue? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Blue gradual, let's do, I want it on the seven color. Maybe? Okay, we can also speed it up too. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yo, seeing both cars with the underglow is actually tight fire. That's actually tight fire. That's, that's fire, that's so fire. 